in my family, we have a strange tradition. After dinner, when we have everybody gathered together, sometimes we retire, maybe it's out to the patio, depending on the time of the year, we're going to just chillax in the living room and hang out. But oftentimes somebody disappears and they come back with this. It's just a Bluetooth speaker, but once this comes into the room, all bets are off and everything changes. It's time for lip sync battles. The Bluetooth speaker gives us the opportunity to channel our inner rock stars and have a tremendous amount of fun. I will lip sync to just about anything. My granny, when she was still with us, did an amazing rendition of Engelbert Humperdinck's My Way. My mom, daughter, and I can do Sweet Caroline, complete with choreographing our dance. Dave and I have been known to sing and do Islands in the Stream. What I want to say is I'm incredibly grateful that there's no video of this circling around the internet. Because what we do to each other when we share our fun times can be really devastating. I'm Lisa L. Levy. I'm the founder and CEO of L Cubed Consulting. I'm an author. I'm a speaker. I'm the disruption catalyst. I share this story today because I'm watching the news about what's happening with Santa Marin and her weekend with her friends. And I am disgusted. Since when is it bad to be able to go and enjoy our time in private and be ourselves? I was so frustrated by this topic. I started looking at research and results and what's going on in our world. Gender disparity in leadership roles we know is bad. But what's equally abhorrent to me, because I'm feeling very abhorrent today, is what we do to women in leadership in the takedown story. So Forbes put out an article earlier this week on the 22nd. I'll include the link in the, in the comments below. But there were reasons that are identified why male leaders, male CEOs, and female leaders are subject to takedown articles. The top three reasons that men are subject to, number three, drugs and alcohol. Number two, legal uh, ramifications leading to arrest. Number one, harassment or abuse. For women, the number three topic is around compensation. Number two is failing to meet diversity goals. Number one surrounds communication. These are three very, or these are two very different lists of things. Women are taken down for missing expectations and failing to meet promises that their employees felt that they made. Our male CEOs are taken down for legal and moral wrongdoings. In this time and age where we're trying to reach gender parity, we're still measuring each other by different rules. I'll leave it with, it really pisses me off. And when I get pissed off, I make these videos and ask you to share things in the comment that irritate you. Because as we have the opportunity to have the discussions about these ideas, that's when we can actually do something about it. I'm Lisa L. Levy. Today, I am a disruption catalyst, and I want to hear from you. Thank you.